I never thought that I would be coming to Mongolia. If you would have asked me before beginning the Duke Global Health Master's program, I would have laughed. I don't think it ever came across my mind that I'd end up in Mongolia. It's one thing to learn something in a classroom setting, but it's another to actually get field experience in these developing nations. We're here to conduct our master's thesis project, and I'm specifically looking at tick-borne pathogens and small mammals. We are partnering with Mongolians at the Institute of Veterinary Medicine. They act as interpreters. They provide us with local knowledge. Oh, so, it's the back that they touch. Yeah, so we put the bait right there. We're going to be trapping small mammals and collecting blood samples and ear biopsy tissues. Additionally, we are collecting ticks off of the rodents. It's a very tedious matter. Oh, I'm, I'm pumped. We're bringing all of the specimens back to the lab at the Institute of Veterinary Medicine in Ulaanbaatar, where we will be testing them for rickettsia, Borrelia, and anaplasma. So what we're doing here is we're actually extracting the DNA using magnetic beads. So we just put this guy under a mild sedative. It's a Mongolian gerbil. This is our second Darien ground squirrel here. There's something right there, Tom. It takes a little while for the anesthesia to wear off after we've collected all the samples. So eventually they're to a point where they can actually move around pretty easily. And so at that point we take them in their cage over to their burrow. And then they just kind of run into their burrow. Applying what we learned in epidemiology as well as even the research design and methods course was really useful to be able to design my study and learn about what I could actually do later on statistically. To apply it here in the field, that just takes your education to a whole different level. In Mongolia, there's a very large nomadic population. So the places that we are doing these studies, there are people surrounding these areas that might come into contact with the rodents or their animals come into contact with rodents who harbor these tick-borne pathogens. So there's a potential to better understand what pathogens are in these areas. Once we receive results from our lab work, we plan to disseminate that to the general public. So that they're more aware of what might be impacting the communities. I like the Mongolian people. They're really nice and it's been great actually coming into a herder family because they're really supportive of the research we're doing. The countryside up here is beautiful. We did have to travel through rugged terrain. Especially when it rains it's very difficult because it gets muddy and so you're slipping and sliding. So it's fun and exciting, but also sometimes very scary. <laughs> but we always have made it. <laughs> a lot of potential employers actually look for experience in a global setting. And so to get this experience early on um, as a master's student is really valuable. Being here, it's been such a privilege. 